Hello, this is going to be a short video on how to uh, flash the twerp recovery um, once you have the uh, fire 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 bootloader. Um, a few things you're going to need are ABD files, you're going to need um, these three files and the fast boot exec. I recommend having a MD5 um, checksum utility um, and you're going to need a, um, a twerp image file um, and uh, let's see here this open recovery twerp 2.2.2.1 um, blaze dot image is is good for um, stock roms and cm7 um, and that's what i'm going to be using um, now we're going to um, first you want to make sure that your um, drivers are installed correctly. Um, if you haven't installed drivers, um, let's see, where are we? Here we go. Um, download the Kindle Fire Utility um, 0 0.9.9 .9 and um, um, un uh, download, um, it'll come as a zip, you want to um, extract the files and then open the folder and um, just go ahead and uh, run the install.drivers.bat um, and reboot the PC and um, drivers should be good. Uh, if you have Windows 8 you're going to need to um, disable drivers enforcement uh, signature enforcement. Um, I don't have Windows 8 so um, I can't show you exactly how to do that. There's a video I'll link to showing how to do that for somebody else. Okay, um, next thing you need to do is um, open up a command prompt. Uh, you can do that in um, um, all programs, um, accessories, uh, command prompt. Um, once you open the command prompt, um, I have put all these files in a folder called ADB um, right on the on the C drive um, just to make it easy um, that way if you do um, need to change the directory CD um, backslash ADB is the folder I'm using you just enter that and it changes the command prompt to um, point to that folder um, and then to flash the um, trip recovery is do a uh, fast boot space flash recovery and your recovery file name which is um, you can um, type it out or you can copy the file name and just uh, paste it and um, then we need to um, boot up your... you can press enter and then I'll just wait till the, um, it connects to the um, Kindle and just press the power button until you get a green light and then you can let go of the button and uh, let's see your bootloader you can see it said sending recovery then you can just do a, a, a fast boot space um, reboot reboot the device um, we'll see our bootloader again and then you can just long press on there and it'll scroll around um, stop on recovery and we'll have our um, our recovery will be um, accessible now take a few seconds to boot. There we go. If you can read that, it says it's got our 2.2.2.1 recovery. Um, and from there, you can mount your SD card 
um, let's make sure that um, SD card is checked and um, mount USB storage um, now you'll see that I got a uh, if you get a format disk error um, because I uh, was coming back from uh, the outer X um, partitions um, just format the disk um, you want fat um, and uh, it should be the right size just one second all right yeah um, you want to check uh, fat 32 and block size um, 4096 bytes um, and just do a quick format start um, that will erase your data um, again this is just if it says if uh, Windows says you need to format it um, that's okay this is the way you to do that all right you can close that um, now your um, your Kindle will show as a removable disk there and you can um, copy a um, ROM to that or um, a flashable recovery um, when you're done just close your your window and then uh, select uh, unmount in the on, in the, on the Kindle's twerp and you go back home um, and then you could click install um, and uh, whatever files you would have copied there should be there um, all right. Um, that's as far as I was going to go with this video. Um, hope it helped you.